EA Sports, within the game. That's one of those plays that you call, and everything seems to happen exactly as it's scripted in the playbook. Essentially. One play and he hits pay dirt. Phillips now from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And up to the third and five before they're able to knock him down. A Raider first down, Carter Renfro. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. 
And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Good push up front for that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. The car's throw going to be taken in by Cole. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. On second down, it's Drake. And they see right through that defensively. As he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. A loss on that play. And now third down gets tougher. Third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his car on third down. Complete to his running back, Kenyon Drake. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And out of bounds right around the 20. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Brings up second and five. Car gonna throw. Oh, looking for Waller, but this is intercepted. And the Saints will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning to points for the other side. They begin on the ground with Camaro. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They run it again with Camara. And they'll get him down here at the 23. After one, seven nothing on the A Sports. First and ten, Winston. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Winston again, it's Camara. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. Camaro with a run on first down, but he's fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage there. No game. Off the play fake, Winston. Flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Working out of the gun, Winston. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. Wait, 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 wait. 
play fake. Winston out to his left. And his throw is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Kamara trying the right side. And he's got this down to the 35. 104 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara, and he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. From the 31, Winston. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On third down, Winston. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. For a big guy, Jameis sure can move. Did a nice job there picking up the first down with his legs. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. First down, Winston. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. Touchdown, Saints! Alvin Kamara, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Saints go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. 14, 14, Raiders nothing. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Phillips now from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys stepped up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need for it to happen now. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second and inches, Carr. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And on Las Vegas, first down. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. Again, they'll throw with Carr. That is caught downfield. It's Waller. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. 
picked up by Pete Werner. And the Saints will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston. That's complete to Troutman right side. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. He's going to let this go deep. Back over the middle. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. From the red zone now, Winston. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the gun, Winston. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack at this part of the field. It brings up third down. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. To the air again with Winston. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for a long game. They've got to start becoming solutions. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Oh, good-looking return set up here. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The final shot here before half for Carr. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And that is incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Both teams making their final adjustments before we get started once again. And for the call of the second half, let's send you back out to Allegiant Stadium and Brandon God. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Phillips now from the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. 
Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional on this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Carr going to try and throw a third down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. First down. First down to the 29 yard line. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. of a yard to look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now Carr. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Paulson the Debar. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? but it was a downright miserable first half that's carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there, and there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. Following the interception, Winston. This is caught. Touchdown! Michael Thomas, 27 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Makes the score Saints 24. Raiders nothing. Will Lutz. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Phillips now from the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now on second and 16, Carr. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. going to give it to Jacobs. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional. In the battle of game plans, theirs has been superior. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Room here to Touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here.